I am a black American male from Chicago who had my rehearsal dinner at Versailles and then got married in Florence with a view of the entire city. What I just said is true of someone else. Hi, I'm a dork from the Chicago suburbs, and the guy I quoted, who's from the actual Triractor, Illinois, is Kanye West. You probably know Kanye from his music, or from our collective assumption that- He's a jackass. Wrong, he is impolite at awards shows, it's different. And Kanye is also the most important philosopher of the 21st century. Yeah, the rapper. Just because you rap about needing sunglasses and Advil after partying with Hove all night doesn't mean you can't be a philosopher. Like Ancient Greece's Hill Country Drunks, the Enlightenment Salon Junkies, or Cross-Legged Old Fitness Freaks. Yes, Kanye wilds out. Yes, he sounds like a jackass sometimes. Steve Jobs is like right under Jesus to me. But Immanuel Kant thought David Hume was wrong about empiricism, and Bertrand Russell called Marcus Aurelius the product of a tired age. Plato's take on the universal elements was so stupid, they made it an M. Night Shyamalan movie. But wrong or right, all of those guys are philosophers, because the only requirement to be one is putting out a body of philosophical work. And Kanye's put out an entire book of bullet-pointed life wisdom. He used his own wedding day to give a 45-minute toast on the theme of celebrity culture. He takes stupid talk show appearances and uses them to be insightful about our society. Do you remember like, you see future movies mm -hmm. and everything was in the sky? That's the internet! And to point out its biggest problems. People don't stand up and protect their dreams. People are too scared of getting, you know, spoofed in a way. His interviews alone inspired fans to assemble a 34 minute YouTube collage of yay deep thoughts. Let's talk about humanity. Let's talk about each other as a people. And his work suffers from so much realness. A Wittenberg University professor was able to write a 300-page textbook dedicated entirely to philosophy. Because beyond constantly talking about how we should live, Kanye's spitting it. Go listen to all my music, it's the codes of self-esteem. He's packed seven studio albums with the concept that you can touch the sky, you can be welcome to the good life, you can go to Paris and tool on McDonald's. Because if you are listening to his words, I refuse to follow those rules that society has set up in the way that they control people with low self-esteem. Or listening to his music, If you're a Kanye West fan, you're not a fan of me, you're a fan of yourself. He's telling you how to achieve your dreams in a way no one else is, and not just because you both connect over ill beats and sick fashion and the greatest movies of our time. Have y'all ever seen Wreck and Ralph? Hey, viewer, when was the last time you read philosophy of any kind at all? And hey, philosophers, congrats on that true thing Ralph Waldo Emerson said that you've made young men in libraries forget that you're just the previous young men in libraries. You beard stroked your way into everyone thinking you're magical geniuses, and that is a feat Kanye has not pulled off. I'm a creative genius, and there's no other way to word it. When you said you're a yeah. genius, I think that upsets people. Hey philosophers, quick question. But who the hell is you reaching? Because Kanye is wild and out in a way that entertains people. And that gives Kanye a platform, that gives Kanye cultural currency. That means whatever people say about him, Kanye is objectively a black American male from Chicago who succeeded so hard he had a rehearsal dinner at Louis XIV's crib, then got married up in the Medici spot to the world's most famous lady parts. And you can't tell me nothing right. Now you can have any preferred philosopher you want, but Slavoj Zizek's not in the eyes and ears of an entire planet. Kanye West is in that position because he's living his opinions in a way that puts them in front of people on a mind-boggling scale. And if nothing else can convince you he's got something to say, Kanye West solved the seemingly impossible thought experiment of modern times by finding anything redeeming about Kim Kardashian. She could love me without asking me for money. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's Adam Ganser. You know, the Gans, uh, one of the crack personalities here. Uh, you should subscribe to YouTube. You know, it's the Gans. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm one of those guys. I was in a video uh, a few months ago. I, th I, was, uh, I, was, I wore a hoodie in, in uh, Internet Party, and uh, I, was, I was in a few Today's Topics. Uh, a few people said something about that. Uh, you know, so, you know, it's your guy, the Gans. Subscribe for the Gans, please. Please. Pleasure, what's your pleasure? Life is a...